Hi everyone, what are you doing? Hope you're well, welcome to our video. This is just me showing you how much I spent in my first month here in Paris. As you might know, I recently moved here, I'm doing an internship for the next six months. And this city is quite pricey, so I decided to track everything on an Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to show you uh, right away. I also made a small presentation, so it's... It's a cool dashboard and it's visually more appealing than just looking at the spreadsheet. So if you're curious about that, don't forget to hit the like button here on the YouTube channel. It really helps out and I think it's important for me to track all of your expenses. And since I've done videos about financial literacy or how to invest, tracking your expenses is a really must and it's a good habit uh, to have as long as you don't get super paranoid. Having that said, let's jump into my uh, laptop, which is here uh, next to the camera. You can see here. I arrived in the 28th of February, day one, uh, right away I had like an air airport extra weight so my bag was super heavy and I had to pay this 30 bucks so I, this was my, technically my first expense even though I wasn't in Paris still but uh, I decided to count in. I also you might see here on the side 1867 euros that's how much uh, I'm earning from the internship um, yeah, like this is essentially like how much money I have each month uh, to spend. And we have, we have here a column of number of transactions, the cumulative, and uh, the number of days essentially. So you can see this has been a lot of transactions, and I decided to, to divide these into some uh, categories. You can see here um, on the first column tourism, you can see here meals and snacks. So it's every time that I, that I go out eating, groceries, social night let's call it uh, that category and uh, yeah other is like for other things like IKEA buying Emma is like uh, you need towels you need Tupperwares and all that kind of things so the classes are essentially transport accommodation meals social night other grocery subscriptions health and tourism so visually I'm going to move to the presentation itself uh, you can see here that my total expenses here since I arrived it has been 2,813 euros or 14 euros, like 98 cents. Uh, I made, I used my card 93 times and my average spend is 30 euros and 26 cents. I'm, I, this is a bit inflated because uh, I mean also including the deposit for the room, which is not this one. Joanna just landed me the room so I could uh, make this video while uh, she and Emmanuel just went uh, swimming. Some go swimming, I make YouTube videos. Uh, but right now you can see my second main expense is the rent splits because I've been sharing uh, a room more or less like this uh, with uh, João and in this Friday I will get my own room. So in a couple of days uh, I will have another 700 and something uh, rent that's going to really skew the metrics here on the dashboard. But uh, the first night I also stayed in a uh, in hotel, then Ikea, you need to buy stuff for your bathroom, for kitchen and all of those stuff, it was 94 euros. The trip that I'm going to do uh, this weekend, uh, organized by the Cité here, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do a vlog. Uh, the Metro Pass, 75 euros, Intermarché Groceries, Franc Prix, and you can see here the bulk of my expenses are essentially accommodation. Then we have, let's say, groceries are a big chunk. And then meals and snacks because I was forced in the beginning to always eat out during my work so I couldn't bring any food but I think this will slowly uh, fade away or become a, a lesser pie and groceries will keep uh, increasing. And yeah, tourism is still little subscriptions, I think it will also be kind of minimal. Other, this also includes really random like expenses, some might not even be related to uh, to, to Paris, for example, I don't know, someone's birthday and I'm contributing to their uh, birthday gift. I'm also including this here because essentially this is what I'm spending. And um, yeah, you can see here, so is the internship of 1,867 euros essentially uh, enough? Uh, fortunately, we received in advance 1,200 uh, euros that will be deducted in the last month. But if we didn't have that advance, so I received essentially 3,000 in the first month, I will be having to put of my own money 946 euros. Maybe I'll do a video at the end of this uh, experience with all of these months. I think it will also be cool, uh, be cool to, to see. Uh, so yeah, right now is not enough, but the first month is always like you need to be mentally prepared. You will overspend like your, your budget because there's going to be a lot of one-time uh, purchases. 
and okay appendix and this is like the, the excel spreadsheets that we were seeing before maybe if you're curious with other statistics whatsoever uh, maybe you've been to Paris and you had no idea it was this expensive or maybe your expenses are higher than these or you don't track your expenses at all because if you just go like oh I have a feeling how much I've spent you really don't uh, is you cannot be as so thorough as as this because I'm including for example a water bottle here 99 uh, 29 cents a snack actually I don't spe specify maybe this was like a croissant or something morning snack I have a lot of morning morning um, snacks tonic gym social night so you can see here a bunch of random like purchases well that's it for today's video I hope you liked it and uh, yeah this this city is quite expensive is what I have to say but hopefully I will be able to stabilize in the next coming months so thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye